Hi, and welcome to your full body stretch for a positive life. This is a great stretch to do to get present inside of your body. So if you're feeling anxious in any way, you're just feeling like life is just a lot right now, like many of us feel, this is the perfect practice for you to get into your body and feel at peace. And in this practice, I'm gonna be using my Brentwood Home Bolster. I absolutely love this because of the way that it's beaded inside, my body just melts into it and it is so incredibly relaxing. If you do not have one yet, I will leave a link down below so that you can get the nice discount code I have for you. If you don't have it right now, just grab some pillows around your house or a seat cushion, something like that will be perfect. Okay, I'm Action Jacqueline. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Let's get started right now. Let's begin laying down. And we're just going to take a few moments here to get present. So I love putting the bolster under my knees. This really helps to just allow my low back to sink into the floor. Lots of times we hold a lot of tension in the low back. So this is just a really relaxing way to start. You can place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart if that feels good for you. And just close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out through the nose. And I really invite you and allow you to come into this practice, getting present with your body so much healing can happen when you're fully present. Not worried about the future, not upset about the past. The past is over, done and gone. And the future is a mystery. And right here, right now is a present. A present for you to be in right now. And I hope that you can find peace right here because that's where peace lies right in the present moment and stay right there I'm going to read you one of my most favorite quotes from Eckhart Tolle it says when you make the present moment instead of the past and future the focal point of your life the ability to enjoy what you do and with it the quality of your life increases dramatically so just take that in, nice big deep breath in, and exhale. Let's reach the arms up overhead, reach the toes, that long stretch as if you're stretching for the first time in the morning. And go ahead and slowly roll on up. We're gonna take a nice easy twist here, placing the bolster to the left of you. You're gonna place your left knee over the, the bolster. Make sure your hips are stacked. And we're gonna start facing the left. And we're gonna open everything up into this nice big wide expansion and then close it on up just like that. Five times, good. Four, you're gonna feel nice beautiful pec stretch happening here. And then all through the spine. I love this one. We need this every day. There's so much happening in our lives and a lot of tension gets stuck in our spine. And it's so good to open it and release all that energy. Inhaling and exhaling, beautiful. Let's go into the other side. So take that bolster over here. Stacking those hips right over each other and then open it up. Uh, inhale and exhale. Just finding a good rhythm with your breath. Always coming back to your breath knowing that that's always gonna connect you to the present moment right here. Two more. And one. Beautiful. All right, come on up. And just place that bolster to the side for right now. And then we're gonna take a nice banana stretch. I love this one. So both of the feet are gonna to go to the corners of your left mat. And then you're gonna reach your arms over to the corner of the upper left part of the mat. You're gonna create a nice banana shape. You'll notice a nice stretch along the sides. This is a great gentle way to open up the hips, the side body. Feel everything just open up. Good, and go to the other side. And so as we open, you wanna think of yourself as opening up to the present moment as well. I personally, 
get to practice this every day. I can get really, really caught up with thinking of the future too much, planning, worrying, all those things, right? And it's so important for us to really live in the moment because that's where life happens. So let's come on up. Let's pull the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug and roll yourself all the way up. Good. And then we're gonna come onto all fours and take a few cat cows. This is where you get to really melt your heart and lift your heart. And then push the floor away. I want you to ground the fingers into the floor. And then inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale, push the floor away. Beautiful, inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, nice job. Come into a neutral spine right here and we're gonna tuck the toes under. Just push those heels back into your, or your hips into your heels. Feel the toes curl under, feel yourself stretch and then press all the way up into a downward facing dog. Good, pedal out the feet. Relax through the shoulders. Maybe you notice the blood rushing to your head. I want you to become aware of all the little sensations in your body and just become so attuned with everything in your body. It's gonna really help you with everything, right? Your eating habits, your sleeping habits. You're gonna really be able to help yourself when you're more mindful to your body. All right, let's take a few walks up towards the top of the mat right here. Shake out the head, yes. Shake out the head, no. Grab onto opposite elbows. And then just let everything hang. Feel gravity pulling you down. Feel the earth beneath you supporting you. And then slowly roll yourself all the way up. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. And then we're going to twist and look towards the back. Nice, inhale up again. Exhale, twist, look towards the other way. Reach those fingertips wide. Inhale, lift. And then we're gonna exhale, open up, cactus. Lift the heart up, lift the chest up. And reach up. Exhale, we're gonna fold all the way forward again. Now grab that bolster and put it on the inside of your right foot as you step back to a low lunge. So low lunge right here. And then what I like to do is I like to take my elbows all the way down, get a nice big deep stretch right here. Make sure that the knee is close to the heel. So you don't want the knee really far over the heel. You want it pretty much stacked on top. Now you can stay here or if you want to add a little more, go ahead and join me by adding this quad stretch right here. This is my most favorite stretch even though it hurts but I know it's doing so much goodness for me here and breathe inhaling in through your nose exhaling out through your nose feeling the tension just melting away with every breath And the bolster here is really nice where you can really just pour your weight into it. Just allow it to really hold you. Good, and go ahead and release. And now come up into a low lunge. We're gonna make this a little bit more active now. Pull up through the lower core and reach the arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, bring hands to heart in a prayer. And then we're gonna twist. Lots of good twists in this class. Bring the elbow to the outside of your left knee. Now push into the knee to really make sure that the hands are right in the center of your heart. Beautiful, hold here. Feel the front foot stabilizing, press down through the big toe. Continue to lift up through the core, lengthen through the spine. Find length, even in this pretty, uh, pretty big stretch here. Good, tuck the back toes under and we're gonna lift off. 
Nice, so now we're in a lifted, twisted crescent pose. Beautiful, we won't stay here long. One more big deep breath in, we're gonna rise on up. Now I want you to reverse this, place the right hand, touch the back calf if you can, nice little reverse, and we're gonna dance this out. Elbow's gonna touch the front knee, and then we're gonna reverse it back for three. Ooh, you gotta feel those legs working. Two. And a one. And up, nice job. Just come right into the center, into your crescent pose, hold here. Beautiful. One deep breath, and then exhale, melt forward, place the hands back onto that bolster, and then stretch the front leg nice and straight so we end up in a pyramid pose here. So I love the yin and the yang of really firing up the body while also then going into a nice deep stretch. And it's really representative of life, right? It's never just one note all the way through. Life is very much up and down, all around. And so it's our job to find center no matter where we're at in life. To find the positive, to find the good and true. Nice, place that hand, keep it right there on the bolster and you're just gonna open up into a nice triangle pose. Hold here, pull the core in tight, draw the ribs down, lengthen through the spine. And if you're outside like me, you can look up into the clouds, let the sun hit your eyes. Or if you're not, you can imagine yourself in the sun with the ocean behind you. Beautiful. And then we're going to take the bolster, just move it out of the way for a little bit. And we're gonna bring the feet all the way up into a nice forward fold again. Release the head, release the shoulders. Shake it out, anything that you need to do, shake it out right here. And let's add a twist. We're gonna bend the right knee, place the right hand down towards the floor, or if you need a little support, just put the hand right there on the bolster and you can twist and look up. I love twists. They feel so good. Good, place the other hand down, bend the left knee, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Feel the outside of the hamstring stretching. Nice, and then rise all the way up to the top. Nice big inhale in. And let's take that standing twist again. Twist, look back towards that left hand. Inhale, get longer through the spine. Exhale, other side. Inhale up towards the center and open up those elbows. Nice big cactus stretch right here. Lift the heart up and inhale, beautiful. Just imagine yourself just radiating positivity from every which direction. Nice, now we're going to move the bolster as we step back into our low lunge again. Place the bolster on the inside of the left foot and then bring the elbows down towards the bolster. And so again, notice where the heel is in relation to the knee. Make sure that it's not too far in, right? You wanna make sure that it's pretty far out. And you're gonna feel a nice, good outer hip stretch right here. Anytime you feel tension, anytime you feel a resistance, that's your chance to create openness with your breath. So anytime you feel that resistance, take a breath. Relax the shoulders and let's add that quad stretch here. Lifting up. Even though you're melting into the bolster, there's still a sense of lift through the chest, through the heart. Beautiful work.
take one more big deep breath in, tuck the back toes under, and then go ahead and lift off into this twisted high lunge. If that's too much, you can just keep the knee down. This is a very challenging pose here. Take a nice big deep breath in and then rise all the way up. Woo. That one's never easy. And now let's reverse it left hand to right calf and then bring that right elbow to left knee three times. Three. Feel that front body stretch. Two. And one. Whew. Gotta find my balance here. And then come into the center for your crescent lunge right here. Inhale. Maybe you can look up as the palms touch. Exhale. Whew. Bring the hands down and then press it back into your pyramid pose. Use the bolster here as much as you need for support. Feel all that fire just release. Knowing that anytime there's a challenge that it is just temporary and that you can always find the positive. And usually if there's a challenge, it means that you're gonna learn something or you're gonna grow or get stronger in some sort of way. And that's what it's all about, right? All right, now let's place the hand on the inside. Twist, look up for our triangle pose. Nice stretch through the inner thighs, the hamstrings. And then think about lengthening through the spine, not through the chest by sticking the booty out, but through the crown of the head. Keep those ribs closed. Lengthen out through the crown, lengthen out through the tailbone, getting longer through the low back. Beautiful, bring the hand to the center and go ahead and move the bolster out of the way. Good, and let's take our forward fold twist again. Bend the right knee, keep the right hand down towards the floor. Twist, look up. You can use the bolster if you need. Place the hand down, twist, look up. Really bending through the left leg, keeping the right leg straight. And release. Good. Go ahead and grab onto opposite elbows one more time right here. Really allow the head to shake yes and no. Good. And place those hands down. Go ahead and come all the way down into a seat. And we're going to come into some deeper stretches here now. So we're going to come into a double pigeon pose. So you have a couple options. You can either stack the heel and knee right on top of each other or you can have it be a little bit more accessible by thinking of bringing the knees over each other. So there's just two ways of doing it. So this is a little bit easier where the knees are over each other or you can try foot heel over knee. I'm gonna do heel over knee because I like to get a really good deep stretch down there. And then I'm gonna use my bolster here to support me. We're gonna hold this for about a minute here. Okay, so get comfy. Allow the head to just release forward. And focus on your breath. Knowing that your breath is the gateway to the present moment. Maybe there's a few things that you want to repeat to yourself. Like today is going to be a good day or I love my life. Anything positive that comes to mind. Go ahead and come on up and let's go and switch sides here. So whatever you did on the other side, 
go ahead and do it here and then lower yourself back down. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere and just send the breath to those areas, feeling like the air just washes all of that tightness away. We're gonna move the bolster to the side now for just a bit. And come on over, bring the hands to the floor, and let's press it back into downward dog one more time. Shake out those hips. Good, now we're gonna lift the right leg up. Nice big inhale in. We're gonna step it all the way through in between the hands. Now we're gonna come into this low lunge one more time. Inhale in, we're gonna repeat a little bit of what we did before. And we're gonna exhale, bring the hands to heart center, take a twist. One more big deep inhale in here. Exhale, lift the back knee up. Good, if you notice, we're just gonna do every pose we did before with just a little bit of a shorter breath. And then come on up, take a nice reverse back and flow. Bring the elbow to the knee. Two more times. Inhale in. Exhale. Inhale in. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Coming into center. Nice. Right from here, bring the hands up. Maybe you can look up towards the fingertips and then fold all the way forward, hands to the floor. Take your pyramid pose. Just one breath. Take it all the way to your triangle pose. Inhale in. Exhale, bring the hands all the way down. Beautiful, let's step it back. High plank pose, all the way to downward dog. Good, let's go to the other side. Inhale and lift that left leg up nice and long. Pull the knee in towards your chest, step it through. Low lunge, bring the back knee down, inhale. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center as we twist into our low lunge twist. Inhale in, exhale, lift the back knee up. Inhale, exhale, let's reverse this. Tap that calf, exhale, tap the knee. Feeling the body nice and light. Maybe you have a smile across the face as well. One more time. Whew. This one's always challenging for me. Inhale in. Maybe you can look up, challenge that balance. Look up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly release down towards the floor. Stretch it back into that pyramid pose. And then place the left hand down. Reach up towards the sky for a nice triangle pose. Bring the hands back down. Step it back into your high plank pose and then lower all the way down. Beautiful work. Take one cobra right here. Lift the heart and chest up and release. Take it back into a child's pose. Feel those legs release out after all the work that we've done. Beautiful. And then come on up. We're gonna take our bolster here now. And now we're gonna take ourselves, we're gonna sit over on top of it, just like this, and then lay all the way back. Beautiful. And so right here, you can just hold onto the edges of your bolster or whatever you have there, and just let the pelvis rock forward and back. 
It's a really good low back release. You can turn and maybe circle the knees out. All around. Just feel that sacrum getting a nice little massage in the bolster like this. And even if you don't have a bolster and you're on your pillow, it should still feel really, really good. I love doing this after a long day if I've been standing a lot because I tend to compress in my low back and this always really, really helps me out. Good, now right here, we're gonna take a nice figure four stretch. Grab on to whatever you can, maybe it's your thigh or behind the knee. And just let everything kind of melt in towards your body because you have the bolster kind of propping your hips up. So it gives you a nice little extra stretch right here. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. Good, and then keep holding onto that right knee and release the left leg and let it extend all the way up and over the bolster here. So now you're gonna get a nice front stretch and then just pull the knee in towards your chest. Maybe you want to take circles with that knee to allow that hip to just completely release here. Good, and then let's switch sides. So take it into a figure four stretch on the other side. So right foot over left knee. Oh, this feels so good. And hopefully you're feeling more positive about your life just by connecting with your body. Simply, it's so powerful. Release some tension. Sometimes we hold on to tension for no reason at all because we think it's gonna make us safer. life, isn't it? We hold on control because we think it's going to be better, but really we can just let go and just relax. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. Trust me. <laughs> All right. And extend that bottom leg nice and long. You can just kind of move that top knee around. All right, and then scoot yourself up again. And we are going to end our class just where we started. Take a scan of your body. You can have the hand on the heart and belly, just like we started. Just take a scan, notice the difference from when you started class, maybe you were upset about something and hopefully this gave you some perspective being able to zoom out and find something to be grateful for. Find something that puts a smile on your face to make you feel positive because what you focus on follows. That is the mind, the law of the mind. What you focus on follows. And what you focus on grows bigger. So the more you focus on positivity, the bigger it gets, the more it happens, the more good things that happen. So just release here, take a few deep breaths.
Let's reach the arms up overhead, stretch long through the toes as if you're waking up for the first time again today for your new positive life. Roll over to onto one side and slowly roll yourself all the way up. Bring your hands to heart center to close out our class together. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you through this beautiful practice. And I encourage you to come back and do this again and again to keep your mind right. Namaste, beautiful work. Make sure that you comment down below. Let me know how this practice was for you and be sure to subscribe to my channel to support me. It really does help so, so, so much. And then get yourself this amazing comfy bolster. I've got the link down below if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.